So let's dive into a bit of a cautionary tale from the world of system administration. It's the story of a routine upgrade that went completely sideways, spiraling into a total failure. And not with a big explosion, but with this quiet, cascading collapse. The cause? Well, it all came down to a single decision, made years ago and then forgotten. Our story kicks off on, you guessed it, a quiet Sunday. The production cluster at work was already updated, everything was stable. An administrator sees a pending Proxmox upgrade for their home lab and thinks, hey, why not now? What could go wrong? And that feeling right there, that false sense of security, that's the first domino to fall. At the very heart of this whole incident is one single critical best practice that was intentionally broken. This decision created this hidden time bomb just sitting there, dormant for years, waiting for the perfect moment to go off. Now, for a lot of sysadmins, this is rule number one. A hypervisor's only job is to run virtual machines and containers, period. You're supposed to keep it clean, dedicated. The second you install extra software on it, especially software that can control the actual hardware, well, you're just asking for trouble. And this was a rule the administrator knew inside and out. But there was this one exception. Network UPS Tools, or NUT, was installed right there on the Proxmox host itself. And look, the justification seemed pretty solid at the time. It was the thing that managed the uninterruptible power supply, it had always worked without a hitch, and it had even survived multiple major version upgrades. That long history of success created this really dangerous sense of complacency. So, fueled by that misplaced confidence, the upgrade to Proxmox 9.1 started. And what began as just another standard procedure, quickly, and I mean quickly, unraveled into a chaotic chain reaction that brought everything down. This timeline just shows how incredibly fast it all went wrong. The upgrade kicks off, totally normal. But then, as system services restart, the NUT software momentarily loses its connection to the UPS. Now, NUT interprets this as a power failure and does exactly what it's programmed to do. It tells the host to shut down immediately. The host, which is right in the middle of a critical upgrade, just obeys. And everything goes dark. Catastrophe. So, after that abrupt shutdown, the next phase was pure damage control. I mean, imagine facing a rack of black screens and just unsettling silence. The administrator now had to figure out what, if anything, survived. And the contrast in what they found is pretty striking. The Proxmox host, even though it was powered down right in the middle of an upgrade, was actually recoverable. That's a real testament to how resilient Debian can be. But the PFSense network appliance, it suffered a really chaotic power cycle, and that resulted in a total hardware failure. It was toast. A complete loss. You know, your first thought in a situation like this is probably storage, right? Oh no, is it a ZFS issue? Did I corrupt the SSD? But the diagnosis revealed a totally different culprit. After pulling the drive from the dead appliance and sticking it in a spare machine, PFSense booted up instantly. The data was perfectly fine. The hardware was not. That power cycle had completely fried the motherboard. So, with the immediate fires put out, the real analysis to begin. The root cause wasn't some bug in Proxmox, and it wasn't a fault in the UPS either. Nope. It was a direct consequence of that one broken rule, and the dangerous assumption that came along with it. And this brings us to a really crucial concept in IT, the blast radius. By installing NUT directly on the hypervisor, the administrator had basically chained the fate of the entire system to a non-essential service. A temporary glitch in that one little service was able to bring down the foundational layer of the entire infrastructure. It dramatically and so unnecessarily increased the potential scope of damage. This, this quote just hits the nail on the head, doesn't it? It really gets to the psychology of the mistake. Past success is absolutely no guarantee of future safety. Every single time an upgrade succeeded with that risky setup, it wasn't proof that it was safe, it was just luck. It conditioned the administrator to ignore a massive risk that was always there, hiding in plain sight. You know, failures like this are incredibly painful, but they are also powerful, powerful learning experiences. So let's look at the real, actionable takeaways that can help prevent this from happening to anyone else. So this all boils down to a few crucial rules. First, isolate power control. Any software that can shut down your host should never run on that host itself. Second, give that job to a dedicated system. A NAS, a tiny VM, anything is better. Third, your confidence is not a backup strategy. Trust your backups. And finally, be the most careful when things seem the most quiet and routine. That's when complacency sneaks in. 
So in the end, this wasn't a technical bug. It wasn't a flaw in any piece of software. Proxbox did what it was told, Nut did what it was programmed to do, and the UPS worked as designed. The failure was a human one, born from that slow erosion of caution that happens over years of things just working. It was a self-inflicted wound caused by nothing more than complacency. And this whole story really leaves us with one final and maybe a little uncomfortable question. This case study is a mirror and it's forcing us to ask a critical question of our own systems. So take a look at your own hypervisor, your own core infrastructure. What's that one harmless little exception that you've made that's just sitting there waiting for the right moment to expand its blast radius?